Okay, so let's consider a qualitative example of different reference frames, one moving with respect to another. Uh, let's imagine bouncing a ball as, as you walk. So let's imagine that Beth is walking, um, and she's walking at speed V relative to Abe. Uh, Beth drops a ball, and it bounces off the ground. So let's just qualitatively compare the motion for between Abe and Beth okay, in these two different reference frames. Okay, so the first thing is to set up a coordinate system for both of them. Okay, so let's set one up here. We'll call this um, the unprimed system, okay? And uh, let's imagine that we have sort of the ground down here. So let's set up another one. And this one's the prime coordinate system. Okay, so let's imagine that this prime coordinate system. Let's let's uh, ascribe that to, to Beth. Okay, so this is this is what Beth. Beth's capitalized. Observes. Okay, and it's going to be a function of x prime, uh, y prime, and t prime. We're not considering motion in the z direction. And let's, this is going to be what Abe observes. Okay, so this is S. This is S prime. Okay. And um, this is going to be a function of X, Y, and T. Okay, so for Beth, she's moving with, her, she's moving with speed V. Hello. Okay, so she's moving with re with speed v. She's walking with speed v relative to s. Okay, so her reference system is walking with speed v, and um, when she drops the ball to her, it looks like it just goes down, bounces, and comes back up. Now understand that. I'm drawing those two arrows separated in x prime, but in fact they lie right on top of each other, but I want you to be able to see them. Okay. Now, what does uh, what does Abe see? Let's choose a different color. Okay, so he sees something that looks like this. Bounces, and it comes back up. Okay, so obviously they see something different because Beth's reference frame S prime is moving with respect to Abe's. Okay now a couple key points here. Abe and Beth and everyone else Uh, must agree that the same events occur. Okay. So they must agree, for example, that the ball dropped, that it bounced, and then let's say that it was caught. Okay. Okay, but the description of these events, let's say the description of the motion in terms of space and maybe time coordinates can differ. Okay.